Hi everyone. In today's presentation, we will talk about how to design an interface for Oracle application. When I say interface, I mean how to design an interface to bring in the data from the third party system to Oracle application. Data from the third party system can be in the form of a data file or maybe uh, another database like DB2 or Oracle. So first of all, get the data from the source system, like third party system. Once we have a data from the third party system, create a custom table and import the data uh, into the custom table from the data file. Or uh, you can write, uh, if the third party system data is available in a database, MySQL or Oracle or any other, write some queries to dump the data into the custom table. So the design of custom table is very important. It should have a column uh, to indicate if the records are processed or fail, or like it should have additional columns also. Uh, when you design that custom table, make sure that you have a additional columns like attribute columns uh, to fulfill re your requirement in the future. Like uh, in suppose you, you, you prepare your design and as of now, the design is fulfilling your requirement, but in future you have more additional requirement. So rather than, you know, like uh, creating a, uh, like create, uh, modifying your table, it's always good to have additional columns in the form of attributes that you can utilize in future. So once we have a dump the data from the data file or third party system to a custom table, the next step is, validate, revalidate data in the custom table as per the your business requirement. When I say, I mean your pure custom requirement. So <clears throat> once you validate that data as per your custom requirement, there is a possibility that uh, the records are failed during the custom validations as per the customer specific requirements. So mark the records that are failed are the past and <clears throat> write down the error in the log file or the error table. So next step is an optional step. Uh, maybe you want to correct the data which error out or you may not want to correct the data as of now. You want to correct the error data in the end. So it's an optional step. Uh, you can fix the record that failed during the validation and reprocess the data. So you can correct the failed record by means of designing a new user interface or from the database writing some update statement and all. And then once you fix the data, you can revalidate. So once uh, the data is validated as per the customer requirement, then validate or revalidate the data in the custom table as per the Oracle application requirement. For example, you have a set of books, auto type inventory, fields in the custom table, then you should validate them against our data into the Oracle application. There is a possibility that set of books in the custom table is not existing in the Oracle application itself or item which is there in the custom table is not existing in the Oracle application inventory module at all. So validate that. Now once you validate there is a possibility that there is again you have some errors. So mark the records that fail or pause the validation against the Oracle application tables. And again, you have optional step to fix the error and then reprocess the data. This is optional step. Many time people uh, let them fail the records and they correct in the end. So once the data is validated, now you can write a custom wrapper and call Oracle standard APIs to process the valid custom data. And if you are using Oracle application APIs, additionally, you have to write a small program to handle the exception raised by the public APIs. The other option is insert the data from the custom table into Oracle standard interface tables and then call the standard import program, Oracle application standard import program to process this data. Here, the op uh, one good thing is Oracle standard program, standard import program will take care of exception and write the exception as well as successfully process record in the log file or output file. So once this is done, again, uh, review, uh, review the log file and like basically once the Oracle application uh, import program is done, our API is done, you have option to write the count of the records processed or failed 
during the uh, import, uh, import or public API and print the data in the log files. So once that is done, uh, again, uh, optional step is you can uh, reprocess the field record or you just uh, disregard the field record. It's a uh, depend upon uh, requirement to requirement. Now in this uh, uh, step where I said, okay, we can dump the data into the interface table and call the standard import program or uh, use the API. So this is the personal preference. Some people prefer to call APIs. Some people still want to use the Oracle standard import programs. Uh, I don't see any trend of uh, preferring one over the other, but uh, many a time I notice like uh, when we are doing the conversions, so that is a one-time process. So um, most of the time consultants prefer to call APIs, but if it is an interface which is, a, which is supposed to run every day or every hour, every six hours, so they stick with the standard uh, import, import programs. Other, another preference is like if we, we interface is processing the data like uh, say two or three purchase orders or two or three sales order at a time, then I think APIs is fine. But if you have a huge volume of data, like you have thousands of records are coming, then my recommendation is uh, stick to the interface table and import programs because Oracle has done a lot of things to improve the performance as well as they have pretty, they've done pretty good uh, validation process in the interface programs. So uh, that's it. Uh, this is uh, how a typical interface uh, looks like in Oracle applications. Uh, we, we can add a few more ad additional steps based on our requirement to requirement. So this is a generic, generic overview. Your design may look like this or may not look like this. So that's all for today. In case of you have a question, feel free to visit my blog and uh, send me an email. My email address is listed there. Thank you very much. Have a good day.